The battleship North Carolina served during World War II, ferrying thousands of soldiers around the Pacific as it engaged in naval combat. Over the course of the war, the North Carolina earned 15 battle stars, including the World War II Victory Medal. Today, the ship sits in Wilmington, North Carolina, where it still carries the memories of those lives lost ages ago. Tonight, we return and make our second investigation of this World War II monument. Kyle, Shelby, Adam, and myself will see if the legends of the North Carolina are true. Today's video is sponsored by Unbox Now. Open more than games. After spending over a year inside, it's finally safe again to go out and have fun with friends. And a great way to do that is with board games. Unbox some summer fun and revive your relationships with some great board game classics from Unbox Now. Like Ticket to Ride. Ticket to Ride is the perfect game to sit down and play with friends and spend the night having a great time. Make your way across the country connecting iconic cities using rail cars and strategy to beat your friends. Ranging from two to five players with an average playtime of 45 minutes, no two games are the same when you play Ticket to Ride. So click the link in the bio and check out Ticket to Ride or any of the other sick games that Unbox Now has to offer. And again, huge shout out to Unbox Now for sponsoring this video. Let's go catch some ghosts. We are back at the beautiful and insanely terrifying Battleship North Carolina. It is a World War II battleship that did some unbelievable things during the war. And here it is docked in Wilmington, North Carolina. And it has a spooky background now. We came here a little under a year ago. I gotta correct myself, a little under a year ago. Um, and we caught some pretty interesting things. We didn't really know what we were doing because it was only the second ever ghost hunt we've ever done. Um, I said ever a lot, but I don't care. And we're back, we're better, we have better gear. Uh, we've got Shelby, we've got Naz back, and we're going to capture what I think will truly be some serious evidence for proof of the paranormal. Right now, we're heading down to the torpedo room where the one and only torpedo that ever hit the ship hit and killed three people? It was, no, it was three people and it injured 40. 40. So that's where we're headed. We've got our spirit box. We've got an extra night vision camera that we're going to leave behind to capture some stuff. Let's get into it. If you're excited as I am, leave a like, comment down below, and as always, subscribe to the channel, but also comment if you see anything that we might have missed. Let's get into it. My name. All right, so we're down. Uh-oh, they're talking. You tell me how it's down the world. So we're getting, we're getting into the pits of the ship. The up here's sick bay is up here, right? Am I in the right spot? It is? Okay. This place, this just puts on such a creepy vibe when it's at night, all the lights are off. Um, this is our guide. That's creepy. <laughs> He's gonna keep going, that's creepy. Like, that's just like, man. That's creepy. It's creepy. Watch your kids. Going down some more. There are still lights on that. This was not meant for big people. And what was crazy is you forget that like a ship like this has to like be self-sustainable. So in like, this is the machine room. So anything they needed that was metal related, they could make here. Oh my God, it's dark. Can we get that light? Thank you. <laughs> I was going to step over that and you turned the camera away and I was like, I can't see anything. It's dark. How dark? Kyle hit the light. That dark. And for those wondering, this is, this is off tour. This is off the normal tour, correct? Yeah. So if you come here and, you want, and you're on the normal tour, you will not get access to this. But you know, we're special. When, you, when, you're, when you're me, no, I'm kidding. And you pay extra. Yeah. <laughs> if you're me and you have an extra couple, you know, hundred bucks laying around, you can watch get this. Head. Yeah, don't watch your head. Oh my goodness. Yeah, don't watch your head. I was gonna say, don't walk through your back. Why is it foggy in here? Who's trying, who's trying to- uh, Checkers? Lay down here. Okay. That'd be kind of cool. You said nap time? <laughs> nap time. Oh my gosh. This is a tall ball. Oh, good God. Well, hey, sir, I didn't, sign, I didn't sign up for hurdles. <laughs> I did not. Mm. That trail leg, right? Ah, watch your back leg. My back leg. Yeah. 
Get flexible, kid. Now you can really tell that this is not part of. Okay, right, this right is. Here. Ingwald Nelson, Oscar Stone, and William Skelton were last seen in this passageway before the torpedo struck September 15, 1942. They were conducting routine air pressure tests to check for leaks. RIP. I remember those three names. I'm taking a picture of that because I'm not going to remember Ingwald. That's actually a really good idea. <laughs> I'm not going to remember Ingwald. Serious question. Is it better to go first or last name since it's military? Probably be last name, wouldn't it? Maybe. Nelson, Stone, and Skelton? Probably more than one Nelson or Stone, you know? Oh my goodness, these hurdles, my guys. So, like, we're in the direct spot where the torpedo struck. This right is now. exactly where it struck. Okay, look at all these non original panels right here that are all welded in. Torpedo here, right here. Dude, there are a lot of trip hazards, so be careful. Yeah, thank you, thank you. Thank you. Watch to your left, right here. Oh, right, sorry. My left. What's in here? Oh, I want to see what's in here. That's great. So that, that almost made a destroy. Oh, yeah, look at the pictures. If you can see that. Dude. That's Paul Cut almost fell. Oh, sorry. This is all still new wall. It would suck to be in here when this thing got hit by a torpedo. Oh, right? yeah. It wouldn't suck for very long, but it would still suck. So they didn't make all this. They block it off. Bam. Oh. I'm getting beat up, bro. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. These apartments, and that's why they were in here. So that was, so he was saying normally there wouldn't have been anybody here. Yeah, they'd all been at work somewhere. They'd all been work somewhere, but they were doing basically routine air pressure tests mm -hmm. of, the of the compartments. Yeah. And when those three guys were down here doing the test, that's when the torpedo hit. Yeah. Otherwise, there never would have been anyone here. Yeah. And you said they died possibly right here? Yes, somewhere in this area. So if I were to leave this night vision camera, mm -hmm. leave it to record, where do you think the best spot be? Kind of right in here? Uh, yeah, I really don't know, but I would say anywhere in here. I mean, because they were all running in here, and the one guy who was supposedly alive that they heard beating on the wall was in this. He, he went from that side and then ran around to that side trying to get into the next compartment. But it was already sealed off? Yeah, they sealed it off. And so it would They sealed it off and also put up all this wood to keep it shut so the air pressure. Oh, wow. Yeah. Here, if you want to get right here, I'll move. There's a picture where they put the wood up. There's different, uh, and I'm trying to find it. You can find some of these beams that still have uh, bins and stuff in them where they didn't replace them, which we what? didn't even think. Say that, that was 950 pounds. 950 pounds. pounds, which we didn't even think the Jap. We, we thought the Japanese torpedo was, and it tells you outside, but I think it was around 700 and some pounds of... Uh, so we had no idea they had something that big. No, and, and it went a lot, a lot further. They had the uh, best torpedo in by far of anybody. The United States probably had the worst. Oh, wow. Uh, yeah, that their torpedoes uh, ran good, uh, fast, uh, ran a whole lot more distance than, uh, than what we thought they would, and had a whole lot more power. And that hit this thing. And that's one of the times they, the Japanese actually thought they sunk the ship. Yeah. Because yeah. Cause I was, I don't know, we were told, I think last time we heard, the Japanese thought they sunk it, what, four times? Yeah. And then they kept seeing it come right back over the horizon. Yeah. Wow. That's actually kind of cool. But so it hit, he's saying the torpedo hit basically right below us, but all of this was just, yeah. if you excuse really, my language, lack of better words, fucked up. Yeah. I can hear him talking. Yeah, I can hear him. Yeah, We're in the front of the boat, pretty decently. Ooh. What that is? Danger. I want to go down there. A hole. A hole. Thanks. Mm. It's gotta be. That's a pig. Uh, which way are we heading now? Um, I believe this way. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> well, figure That's it right. out. When, when your guy's like, thing is this way. I just had a good idea. I've got that GoPro and I can put it on this side pointing down. Okay. I left my camera in a hallway where three men tragically lost their lives. What you're about to watch is what we captured.
we need to eventually make our way up. So we're gonna go back up, get the main night vision camera now. Also get the other one, because then we'll hit up. We'll go mess hall, hang around there a little bit, and then we'll make our way down to sick bay, hang in there, put up the other night vision camera, leave it there, and then walk around some more. Just kind of explore, see if we can catch something while we're walking. Walk through this. I feel like we walked through it. Yeah, we did. Okay. Oh, Y'all go here. We wait for Shelby because she has not made it to the squad uh, yet. Oh, what the hell? I pooted. I heard Back. that. Back. I farted when we were down in that bathroom mm -hmm. and it was hot. And I expected it to be so bad and it wasn't. <laughs> like it, it came out and I was like, woo, that kind of burned. I kind of need to fix this. My eyelashes coming up again. Oh my gosh. I've been just squishing it down. Just take them off. No, you can because the thing is, is it'll the rip off my eyeliner and then I'll have a big gap. Nobody. <laughs> what do you mean? YouTube. What do you think we, we posting this on YouTube in? 16K? Girl, how's people who watch this watching in 720? Most of this shit is gonna be like grainy. <laughs> yeah. Cause it's dark. It's dark. I mean, the light helps, but. Is that a pixel or an orb? <laughs> is that dust? I can't tell. Go ahead, girl. Ah! Spider web. Here we go. Do you wanna go or you want me to go? What do you wanna you, do? I'll just go. I'll just go. It's fine. Go ahead. Cardboard cut out to your right. Don't get scared. Oh, fuck. I forgot about that already. <laughs> See? This ain't right. This ain't right. What? This ain't right. It's too big. It's just not me. <laughs> You're too tall to be a sailor, Jay. <laughs> so, oh, actually, we can start. We can actually, let's go in here first. We're going to go in the bakery because the bakery is supposed to be one of the hot places. Apparently, this is where they call someone saying, get out. All right, so we're here in the bakery and we're going to let Shelby lead the investigation while we're down here. We're going to hang out here for a little bit. We'll tell you. We're gonna hang out here for a little bit and then we're gonna move out to the mess hall. Um, last time we were here, we did get a little bit of activity here. Some weird noises, really weird, didn't make any sense. And then in the mess hall, we had the girl and then also the tapping on the table. So are you ready to go lights out, night vision, Absolutely head on? Absolutely not. All right, let's do it. Cut that light off. Oh, okay. All right, girl. You look great night vision. Yeah, I bet it's really nice and comforting right, to have so, a light over there on you, huh? Okay, so it's it's pitch black. We'll, we'll be real. You can't see anything. Um, last time we were here, we were sitting at the end of the table. So if you want to go to the end of the table, I think I'm looking at you. I don't know. I can't <laughs> see I don't know. You're looking at her shoulder. I'm looking at her shoulder? Okay, cool. Yeah, her left shoulder. Um, that just gives you guys an idea. We do this stuff in the dark, okay? Yeah, keep walking. Just scared. keep walking, keep walking. There you go. There okay. you go. Look at that. Look at that. All right, girl. Shelby? Yes. This is your big moment. What do I do? Ask if someone's here. Someone okay. Can. Ask how we they don't feel. know any Ask names. how they feel. Get a ghost to show up. That a girl full is body. on board. Well, I hope they would like me because I'm a little bit more respectful than you. Not only that. Again, I'm guessing I'm looking at you. I have no idea. I can kind of see the silhouette of your To be so. fair. The sailors on this boat Who's tapping will probably on the, enjoy I'm the walking. company of a female. Who's tapping on the on the on the table? Oh, that was me trying to make my point. Okay. Oh, okay. Because I was like, I sure wasn't. Um, is, is anyone here with us tonight? Are there any spirits here with us? Any ghosts of anyone who used to live here or work here? Live here. They have to here. live here. It's a houseboat. I mean, yes. That was my foot, by the way, if you felt that vibrate. Would you like to make a noise if you're here so we know you're here? Was that like, was that one of you? Or was that you? Were you adjusting your camera? No, I didn't hear anything. Hey, what'd you hear? It was, as I was finishing speaking, it was like a. I am. My but it was on... like, it was like that, like a, a finger on like metal or something like but it sounded like it was like on oh, metal. No. could you make that noise again if that was you uh could you make another noise please we're not here to bother you or anything we we just wanted to to meet you if you're here and you know 
have you share yourself with us and so people know that you're here. If somebody's here, could you make a noise for us? A loud bang? Could you do a soft tap on the table that we have our hands on? Did you hear that? Yeah, was that you, Ness? No. Was that you, Ness? What? The little... No. Did you adjust your hands on the table or anything? No, I haven't moved. Right, it was immediately. Could you do that again? He doesn't like me, you do it. Would you please uh, tap the table just one more time for us that we have our hands on? Now, quick, shut the, the plate that I'm standing on makes noises. Show yourself. Okay, you're getting a little ridiculous. Come on, guys. The nice lady would like you to make some noise. Can you do that for us? Was that you shifting? Yeah. I'm sorry. I didn't know the table was like right here in front of me. We heard there's a spirit here that doesn't like it when people come in their bakery. If you're here and you would like us to leave, all you have to do is make a noise and we'll leave your bakery and we won't come back for the rest of the night. Listen guys, if there's anyone here, we simply would just like for you to make some type of noise loud enough for us to hear that just proves you're here and we'll be on our way. Please. Pretty please. No one heard the tap behind me. I, I did heard actually. It. Heard I heard it. it. I thought it was you shifting yeah, your feet, well, so I didn't say anything. It wasn't me. But we're gonna walk around. If you would like to make your presence known, just bang on something, yell, stomp your feet, walk up to us. Anything and everything is greatly appreciated. Oh, hello. I just not <laughs> Alright, so we are here in the mess hall. Last time we were here, we had tapping on the bench, multiple noises. Uh, we also thought we heard a little girl laugh twice. Now we're back. Let's see if we can get some more stuff. Okay. Would anyone who used to work here? like to make their presence known? Does somebody want to come hang out with us? We've got plenty of room on the table. Someone just scratched the table. No. Did you hear that? I just I heard, heard like a click. I thought it was like a pipe settling or something. I mean, the benches were Did sitting on too. Yeah. That was like a... Yeah. Might have been a bench. Oh, was that you? Oh, did you shake? I didn't move. But... Uh, that, oh, that noise definitely came from you the bench. You did because you turned. So that one I did. did, did no, I didn't turn until after I heard it. Uh, I looked this way and then I heard the thing. But I don't know if it I could was just moved be, or something. Yeah, it could have been the bench just like turning. That was it. That was it. Uh, would anyone who used to work on the ship like to come sit next to us at this table. There's plenty of room beside me. We have canned water. I'm for Japanese. Anyone else? Does it sound like shuffling? Like in the AC? Is it in the AC? I'm gonna shh. Yeah, there is that noise. Almost like high pressure water going through a pipe or something. It's, 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 yeah. It's coming from that guy. Yeah, because that's where I'm here from. I'm trying to figure out. I think the ventilation system is definitely <clears throat> more solvable for you. It's been hard to hear. Is there somebody uh, coming to join us? Can you manipulate any of the objects around us? Like, camp water, equipment, 
seats, chairs, anything. If there's any soldiers present, I order you to make yourself known. That is a direct order from your CO. If you're a ghost, can you explain to me how you dealt with the heat in this boat? Because this is intense. That's the real question right there. I think we all need to know that. Did you just knock on the table? Did you hear that? What? That was like a... Yeah. Right to your left. I'm not sure. I mean, I shifted my hands. I don't know. And I feel like Naz maybe let off the table. I, you'd have to watch the video. Really Still, I hate this. Like, everyone's hearing stuff and not everyone else is hearing. And that's like the worst thing. You like, know, you know, I try to play skeptic. You need, yeah. like, you need like a loud that's why. banging noise. Yeah. And you everyone else on the ship, ship is asleep. He's a really strong part. Mead. <laughs> All right, y'all want to head to uh, Med Bay? Sick Bay? I want to head sure. to uh, some fresh air. Yeah, that's out. That's outside. Boy, how does it? We have to go outside first. Does and it's it like shiny? In. Can you even tell on that? Yeah, there's a there's a gleam to it. Yeah. I feel like sitting here, like with my arms down. I was picking my arms up, and it was like my arms like might sticky. as well have been like no, they were like you could have powered a water slide with my forearms. <laughs> like it, it was like wet. Hell yeah, brother. I'm getting like some chills. Like when I went in there, I got some chills, but it might have been because I was by myself and I was just freaking myself out. Saying, yeah, probably. Nice. Boy, this is just dark. Mm -hmm. Well, there's no light. Who needs light, bro? Just channel your inner. Wait, how do you have a water? Channel your inner vampire. Your inner vampire. Was well, there anybody down here in the engine room? We heard y'all like to talk down here. Can you say something for us? Can you turn your light off? If I could take his water bottle, because it keeps making noises Sorry. and scaring me. I'm trying to figure out how to hold it. There's somebody down here, can you make a noise for us? Let us know you're here. You're members of the US Navy. I know you're not scared of four civilians. Was that you? Yeah. yeah. Okay. The plate I'm on shifted. We mean you no harm. My name's Jake, Adam, Shelby, and Kyle. What's your name? Hello, does anyone who used to work on the ship currently inhabit the space we are in? You guys can make like a tapping noise or a creak or something to let us know. Does anybody want to tap Kyle on the shoulder? I'm still open for the yanking down the hallway. Not me. That's right. Here we go. That's it smells great. musty right here. Yep. Like it does every time we walk through here. It smells like taco seasoning. <laughs> yep. <laughs> you said taco seasoning? All right. Excitement. Were these lights always on? Yeah. yeah. I don't know. I'll be back in one day. What? Maybe they'll do it back one day. Ignore the sign. I wonder this is I... uh, this is where last time we were here, we had some creepy vibes. People say they saw a person like right here during one of the parts. You, you know what I'm talking about? No. I, I read the comments. I was I trying to say someone's right here, and I kept playing it back, and I was like, no, it's the trash can. We were like, there's no shot. It's a trash can. So we're here. Mm -hmm. We're gonna hang out. See if we can get some spooky spook to go on. Because this is also where I had the GoPro. It was right here. Pointed in this corner because they said this is like the spooky corner. Why? And it sounded, I don't know, but it sounded like somebody walked down the hall right past it. So, of course, I brought another camera to set up, but we're going to see if we can get that again. Hey. But for now, what's up? I'm standing in the spooky this? corner. What? Did you just get groped? <laughs> somebody touched my butt twice. <laughs> I'm all what? I kid you not, when I was talking, I stopped because it did it again. It was like right here. 
It's sweat. <laughs> it wasn't sweat. I don't. I'm not sweating at all. Was it like an actual like poke? It was. Yeah. It, it was like like right there. Like I thought maybe your hand like went down and like hit my butt the first time. Uh -huh. But then it did it again while I was talking. When I was like, did you? I stopped because I was like. No, that wasn't you because I'm looking at your hands. Is there someone here getting a little frisky? Can, can you not touch my butt, please? His is nicer anyway. <laughs> if there's someone here poking around, can you make a noise? Poking around. I love that. That was good. Also, could you ask next time, please? Yeah, literally, I'd love to hear someone pipe up in here besides us four, you know. You guys are the star of the show in here. Not us. We're just here to give you guys the floor. I'm gonna readjust my pants and see if anything else happens. <laughs> Did you like back up into this pole or something? She was no, standing right here. I was oh. facing the pole. And then she thought it was me and she's looking at me and it happened again and I'm like... As soon as you said scary corner, I immediately like went over Yeah. Around. Is there somebody here with us? I brought spirit box. We're gonna try this in here. We're not as far down, so this might work. Excuse me. We're gonna give it the old Harvard try. Is that what it's called? College try. College try? I mean, yeah, I heard you were right that before. Is there anybody here that would like to communicate? If there's anything you wanna say, we're gonna be able to hear it through this speaker. So if you want to say your name, hi, anything, we'll hear it. Anybody in here? In the operating room? Med Bay. We heard there is a spirit that likes to hang out in that corner I'm pointing at. Is that spirit here? Is there a spirit of someone who used to work on the ship here? I don't think we're gonna get anything with that because there's no signal down here. I don't think we're as deep down as we were before. I it's, still, it don't matter, it's still, I'm still yeah. solid steel. Look, I'm yeah, I have no, no signal. No bars. And I don't think you're gonna be able to get it. It's black in here. Let's see, because we did that. We didn't really get much, but that's like cold air. Mm, yeah, but once you step in here, there's no source for it. Like, there's no open door. Do you feel it? I do. Mm -hmm. like, stand right in front of the door. I feel a draft. It's like, right probably there. just how the ship's built. But the, once you step through the threshold, there's no air moving in here at all. None. Yeah, it's just getting pushed into the room. That's really weird. That's like cold air, too. We have it dark. If you like the dark, more comfortable. Yeah. Could you let us know? Yeah. What? Did you just take a big cooking? Yeah, I was yelling. What the fuck? It sounded like it came from behind my fucking ear. Sorry. You good? <laughs> Show's about to lose it. What the fuck? I haven't had my hands on for me so I don't run into something. If there's anyone here, now that we have the lights off, maybe it makes you more comfortable. Could you give us a sign of your presence? Tapping on the wall, sitting on a bed, poking Jake in the butt, talking, physical manifestation, lights. What the fuck? Oh my god, you scared the fuck out of me. What the did fuck you did you do, do right that? there? God damn. When did you get there? I, I walked around. God oh damn it, Jake. Oh my god. You scared the shit out of me. You like, scared the shit out of me. I was like, like what is behind me? Oh my, dude, I had no idea you moved over here. I thought you were over there. I'm oh sorry. my God, bro. I'm I'm I don't see anything. <laughs> the last time I saw you was yeah. over here with Nas. Yeah, sorry you about that. Now all, of a sudden, was, now all of a sudden here, right there. And I was like, what the fuck? And then you turned the camera around. Oh you started, my God, you started dude. Freaking out. And I started freaking out. I was like, what's behind me? What's behind me? I definitely think oh, you God. should leave that in the video. Yeah, it's going to be in there. That's a good moment. <laughs> I almost, I literally, I legitimately almost shit myself. <laughs> There's anybody here? Could you go talk to my buddy Kyle in that corner? Please show up. 
We heard that's your uh, one of your favorite corners over there. That's me. It's quiet, bro. Like you don't. You can't even hear any ventilation from like three rooms over or anything. All right. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna keep moving around the boat. I'm gonna put down cameras here. We're gonna have the night vision and the GoPro. See if we can get anything like what we got last time, which was super spooky, because it sounded like somebody walked by the door. Like with it was super crazy. Um, and we're gonna keep moving around the boat. See if we can catch us some spookies. That sounded dumb. We're gonna keep walking around the boat. See if we can catch us some proof of the paranormal. <laughs> Some spookies. Yeah, We're trying to get there. them spookies. <laughs> These are. Oh boy! Almost there. <laughs> Naz just like slid down the steps. Oh, <laughs> quick. Do, 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 do. It's less painful if you go fast. I'm telling you. Back into the bow on this ship. The ship. And we got attacked. We'd be sunk before I got to my, my station. The camera. GoPro number uno. We yeah, there's a doorknob. That's the hall. We gotta go down Yeah, we have to go that way. Well, we can actually go either way, because when I went around the other way, well, not that way. That's your claustrophobia. All right, boys. Where them ghosts at? Don't give us any good stuff while we were gone. All we were wanting was a little knock. The camera made the SD card didn't. Hmm. All right. We're sitting in the room where, right near where the torpedo hit. The only torpedo, I think, to hit the ship. Enemy torpedo, at least. Killed at least like we'll five see, people. Uh, see if we can get any, get any activity to happen for us while we're down here. Is there anybody here that would like to hang out with us? Make some noise? Prove to us that the afterlife is real. Or limbo, alternatively. If any of the guys who tragically lost their lives here uh, when the torpedo struck, if you are still here, could you please give us a sign by making some noise? Tap on the wall, stomp your feet, shuffle your feet. If you're able to say something, we might not we might not be able to hear it, but our device over there will. Something about that tap of the wall just right. That was me. Okay. Was that you again? Yeah. Okay. No, I'm going to murder you. <laughs> if there's somebody here, can you replicate that noise? 
Yeah, push on some steel. Can you bang on this wall right here? shower like on the other side of the wall almost or like in the shower somebody here make more noises if you can can you make that noise again please Guys, in here. Th this is literally where the shit exploded. The, the torpedo blew up right here. Anybody here? All right, so it's a little after five o'clock in the morning, and we're about to wrap it up. But we got one more thing to do. We're all gonna go down to the mess hall, which is where we got all of our activity in the last video, and we're all gonna split up. It's gonna be me and Shelby. Kyle, you're gonna be by yourself. Adam's gonna be by himself. We're all gonna have night vision cameras on us and we're just gonna hang out there until our guy Ronnie turns the lights on, see what we can capture. So, I hope you're all as excited as I am. Shelby looks super excited. Stoked. <laughs> I need to see a ghost. I still, it's a necessity that I have now. This is the second time, gotta see one. Gotta see one. Nass, have you looked at right. yourself you lately? Of hold on, hold on, story. Story, 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 go. We get to the top of the ladder and so I'm up on the second deck. And I just said, okay guys, where are you at? And there's this thing about a lot of figures supposed to be like through portholes and stuff. Uh -huh. So I look up on the bridge where the red and a dark, something dark basically just kind of moved across and covered up most of the porthole. And then when I looked at it and it, was, it just moved across. And I just stood there and stared and didn't do it again. I don't want to see if there's anything moving. It might be the time. This might be time to go. We gotta go. We're gonna go down. We're gonna go down mess hall. We're gonna we're gonna get something. Here it goes. All right. So we have split up. Uh, Shelby and I are in one part. We got Kyle in a different part. I see his light on. I don't know what he's doing. And then Adam's in a different part. We'll be able to cut between the different shots. And we're basically just gonna hang out, see what happens um, for the next hour or so, because it's. 5.30 in the morning. This is when we heard the other stuff, so we're gonna see if we can catch something now. You excited? Are you scared? Not really. You're just more tired than anything, aren't um, you? Well, I feel like you start scared, and then by the end of the night, you just get so tired that you're like, eh. True. If it happens, it happens. True, true, true. What's happening here is we are all by our lonesome, all right? So I'm in like the darkest, deepest corner of this freaking boat. Right, I can't see anything. So I'm using the camera as a light. And we're just kind of like wandering around. We're gonna be chilling. We're all by ourselves. As you can see, I'm gonna do a quick 360 here. There is nobody else down the ground. Nobody else here. So it's just me by myself. If there's anybody here with us, we're spread out. So if you could give us a sign to anyone. I don't know what Kyle's doing. So come on guys, give us something. Can someone come sit with us if you're here? Does anybody want to come sit down with us? We've got plenty of room. I see nothing, and the ventilation inside the ship is starting to come back on. So if you guys hear a loud roaring noise, it's just air, which this ship desperately needs more of. It's like a damp sauna in here.
Anybody out there? Alright guys, it's breakfast time. Come get your food and sit down and eat. Kind of sitting stationary in one of the mess halls here. But we can actually move around. I'm disappointed. At this point, the Coast Guard's better than the Navy. besides those little baby beeps. I'm starting to agree with the Coast Guard is better. Come on, have some pride. Please, do something before we leave. something in the rafters. What's creaking around up in the ceiling, bro? That was not me, that little oh, Dude, I saw my own reflection in the glass of the door and I was like, oh, hello. Bro, I'm not gonna lie, this is actually a little bit more unnerving when you're doing it completely by yourself. Well, I guess that's it. All right, you ready? I'm ready. Here we go. It sure wasn't them, uh, because they haven't done anything all night. With that, we concluded our second investigation of the battleship North Carolina. While rather quiet, we still managed to capture some strange noises on our stationary cameras. If the battleship holds any secrets, it definitely kept them away from us tonight. Let us know if you would like us to do a third investigation here. Until then, the battleship North Carolina will still remain terrifying.